Hey guys, how are you guys doing? <laughs> so I've been trying to start exactly 5 minutes after the set time. So I'm actually a little bit late today, I'm sorry about that. Um, I slept pretty late last night, so I still feel like I just woke up, even though I've been up for a couple of hours. <laughs> and it's almost dinner time. That's how my day usually goes. Hi Andre, hi QJ, hi Palfire, oh, Bane Fairy, I saw your donation, uh, thank you so much for that, I think you said, um, representing Broke Gang or something, thank you, and I think somebody joined the membership, but let me try to find it. Um, I can't exactly find it. It's not showing it in my mini feed. But thank you, Peasant Chan, <laughs> for donating $20. Hi. Hi to you too. Hi, Fifi. Thank you for donating. Fifi is also a VTuber, guys. If you guys want to check her out, <laughs> her tweets are really funny. Oh, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. If it's Fifi <laughs> or Fei Fei. Uh, <laughs> Xenon says, where is the food to sell? I made this typo in my tweet announcement on Twitter. I was, um, I was trying to put that I was going to be doing a drawing of me. But for some reason, the tweet read, I'm going to do a drawing of me face savoring food <laughs> i have no idea why i didn't notice those last three words when i clicked send tweet <laughs> but, um i did figure out why that happened it was an emoji i think it's like the apple description of an emoji i used in discord when i was copy and pasting that tweet but i know this 10 minutes too late so it was too late to delete it. Like by that time, my stream would already be starting. Thank you for donating biscuits. Good evening, Cecile. Good evening to you too. If it is evening where you are at. Hello, Nikto and Nath. Glad you guys made it. <laughs> and Rhino. Just noticed you in chat as well. Dumpling says, curse you, YouTube. I can't give uh, Fifi a membership. Yeah, Twitch has some really nice streamer functions that YouTube, unfortunately, is going to miss out on. I'm actually kind of wondering if it might be beneficial <laughs> for me to switch to Twitch. But I'm probably not going to. <laughs> um. Okay, so today... We're going to be doing a drawing of my character, aka Cecile, and I'm going to try to match it to one of the soundtracks that I have. Um, you guys are going to hear it when I switch. Actually, let me switch now. Yeah, so this soundtrack might sound really soft to you guys, 
For some reason, when I wear headphones, it sounds alright, but when I listen to my streams without headphones on, the back music is barely there. But I've already started a sketch for this, mainly because I needed something on the thumbnail. <laughs> Another good thing about Twitch, I don't have to- I wouldn't have to make thumbnails. <laughs> but, yeah, since everything I do is um, on YouTube, such as my speed paints and stuff, it's gonna be uh, more trouble for me if I switch to Twitch. So I'm just gonna keep everything here. This, uh, Reno asks, wasn't this the debut stream music? No, wait. Hold on. Pretty sure I have the right music on. But no, um, the debut stream music is the music you heard in my intro. That's like the main track I used. This is the track that Nikto made. All my credits are in the description, by the way, if you are wondering who made the music. <laughs> Daniel says, I thought you'll finish the Kali art. I, I was working on it. <laughs> I thought it might be boring if I draw it too many times um, on stream. So I was going to finish it off stream. Let's actually start drawing. So that sketch... Okay, let's not forget to record. I hope this is alright for my computer to be on silent mode for. <laughs> Nothing I do is boring. Um, but yeah, I was going to finish the Kali stream. The Kali art off stream. I worked on it yesterday for like three-ish hours. <laughs> I don't think I'm like that close to being done. Because um, even though I think I'm almost done with the basic rendering of the details, um, I think it's pretty boring right now. I could do some more with the lighting and shadows. Which I find easy to do with editing layers. <laughs> that usually means my artwork looks super different from the time I start it to the time I finish it. One second, I need to collaborate. Uh, okay. I thought my model looked a little bit odd, so I was changing the collaboration. Thank you for donating, Rurur. Rurur says, ah yes, falling apart like a sleep schedule. <laughs> if you mean like my sleep schedule. Yes. Is it just me or I find it super easy to mess up my sleep schedule? I can mess- I can... Um... Stay up really easily. But if I try to... Okay, that's badly worded. What I mean is, I can stay up at night really easily, so I can hold an all-nighter without much effort. But if I try to stay up during the daytime, for example, I'm trying to fix my schedule and stay up um, past <laughs> noontime if I, if I was awake all night, it's so hard. Like, I feel so sleepy. By the time the sun is up, it's like my body wants to sleep when it's light outside. Alright. What does sleep mean? Oh god. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows what sleep means? So I kind of did this kind of a uh, similar thing before with my artwork in the intro and my ending screen. 
I drew both of those artworks with the music in mind because um, <laughs> I drew them with the intention of them being one of my screens on my stream and I also was going to animate them I animated them as well um, so I'm gonna be I'm gonna be kind of doing a similar thing with this piece I don't think it's going to become one of my stream screens though unless I want to change something up once in a while maybe I'll do that And this Galaxies asks, Cecile, would you ever make a webtoon? I'd love to see one in your style. I don't know. I feel like a whole comic is going to be extremely difficult for me, considering I'm lazy. <laughs> but um, I forgot if I ever mentioned this on stream before. But... Once, um, you know how Webtoon hosts those contests where you can win like a whole lot of money if you enter it and actually, you know, get a placement. I was tempted to join one with my sister who is also an artist. So we kind of started planning for it. We were planning to make a Webtoon. Of course, that never happened. <laughs> so it didn't go very well. <laughs> but that was like the closest I'm probably gonna get to thinking about making a webtoon. At this moment in my life, I don't think I have the energy to do it. I think being a webtoon artist requires you to be really dedicated. Like how much do you have to draw in order to put out like a chapter every week. I can barely put out one drawing in a week. Yeah, so... Trash Panda asks, was it because you couldn't find a good story to think of? We kind of did think of like a basic plot. <laughs> um... I... I don't know how good it is, like I doubt we would have won anything. I don't really consider myself a writer. Um, creative writing is fun, but I still hated English class. Sarah Fizz, thank you for donating. Sarah Fizz asks, Cicelwin. <laughs> I believe Sarah Fizz is referring to a tweet I made, right? Oh, oh, just kidding. Are you asking about my sister? <laughs> but I did make a tweet. I thought, um, at first I thought Seraphis was talking about a tweet I made the other day, which I said, if, fun fact, if I wasn't an AI, I would be a snake girl. So Seraphis was talking about my sister. But in regards to my tweets, um, I think I might actually draw a version of my character as a snake girl, <laughs> just for fun. Why can't I be both? Very smart, but I think it might be like <laughs> hard for me to explain. Like, why am I a robot snake? That's a very interesting thing to be. plot usually doesn't matter that much. Wait. The plot usually doesn't matter. Um... I'm struggling with this. As much... As much... Oh! As much as the smaller things like characters and a bunch of stuff. True. I guess that, that is correct. Um, if, if you watch a lot of things... Or read a lot of stories, I guess. The plots kind of... Eventually the plots repeat themselves. Because there's only so much we can think of, I guess. 
either that or people are un uncreative. But yeah, it's usually the characters that you get attached to and you start following something for long term. Thank you for don donating, Tuna! <laughs> Tuna says, writing is cringe, bro. Tuna, aren't you a writer? Is that like a hobby of yours or like your job? But yeah, Tuna is in my Discord server and everything is cringe to Tuna. To Tuna. <laughs> That's how you know he likes it. So what I'm going for with this piece is I'm trying to make it look like um, she is falling backwards and her body is breaking into pieces. It's kind of similar to the drawing I did for my intro waiting screen where she was broken on the ground but it's a little bit more dramatic because this music piece is more upbeat than my other ones and the name of the music is Fatal Anomaly so I thought this would be fitting as she kind of got inspired by listening to the music. Thank you for donating Deadbeat. How many times we got to teach you this lesson, old man? Satuna, you're a cringe. <laughs> well? The crowd has spoken, Tuna. I'm of like half paying attention right now to my drawing, so... Face is probably gonna come out a little bit messed up at first. But that's what Control Z is for. Thank you for donating Daniel. I figured your name is Daniel and not Danielle because you're a man. Um, but please let me know if I'm still pronouncing it wrong. Daniel says, Cheers, Sissy. Trying to stay sober as much as possible. Oh, so you're drinking? <laughs> Wait, what? Yes, please try to stay sober. I'm not much of a alcohol drinker. I feel like my mentality is still like I'm 12. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I... I guess the only times I ever drink is when I'm going out. Or we're on vacation. But yeah, I don't really know much about alcohol. If you guys want to talk about something like your favorite types of drinks, I'm gonna have nothing to say. The word cringe is cringe. <laughs> People who say cringe are cringe. Thank you for donating Alexis. Alexis says, love your smile, haha. Your drawing inspire me every day to draw while continue to support you. Thank you so much for liking my drawings and I hope you will be able to keep getting inspired by it. So we can all produce more artwork. My break um, this week is almost over, sadly. And unfortunately, I'm barely more productive on break than I am when I have classes. <laughs> but that's what this stream is for, right? This stream is where I force myself to draw. Right, so for this piece, 
I'm actually not too sure about it yet. I might change it if it ends up looking not right. <laughs> I'm one of those people who goes with gets like I I get my sketch down and I go with the first one because I'm kind of <laughs> too lazy to keep going and make more sketches until I can have like a couple to choose from. So sometimes that means I end up with like a horrible composition and I just have to deal with it. <laughs> but as always, I'll leave those issues to future me. Thank you for donating again, Tuna. Tuna says, Roses are red, I'm unhinged, simping for VTubers is cringe in parentheses sorry right now <laughs> something ah oh, so cringe what am i studying i'm studying something healthcare related um <laughs> i pretty much talk about it in my discord just because studying is like my life right now but I don't really want to publicly say it, so it's not really public information. I mean, I'm sure half of you guys know. <laughs> yeah, um, I used to not care that much about pe pe people knowing about my real life information because I think my name, like my real life name is super generic. <laughs> So, it's gonna be hard to find anyway. But I guess if you have enough information on me, you could probably find me. So yeah, I'm gonna try not to dox myself. Thank you for donating Nikto. Nikto says, really happy to see my work inspiring your work. This feeling is mutual. Yes, Nikto is uh, the person who made the music that I'm drawing this piece too. Nikto's music is pretty good, so you guys should check out his YouTube channel. So I'm also planning to animate this piece, but it's gonna be super simple. Like as simple... <laughs> as simple as I can muster. Um, I don't think there's like that much. I can do to it. I don't want to. Um, like, one of the most simple animations you do to an artwork is make the eyes blink. But I don't want to do that again since I already did that for my intro animation. But I kind of want to emphasize the falling effect. So since she's falling, I think something I could do is have the body moving this way and have the floating pieces moving that way, like very slowly. So it's kind of kind of gonna look like slow motion falling. At least I'm gonna try. <laughs> I might have to um keep in mind to keep some of the stuff on a separate layer. I don't like using separate layers, so I always forget. <laughs> Mado says, simple, she says, what is simple for her? I meant the animation. <laughs> I do like to put details in my artwork, even if it's just gonna be line art basically which is this one well i'm not going to shade it extensively okay so first i'm gonna try to get down um the basic anatomy I might have to get a little bit quiet sometimes when I'm concentrating. Or it might turn out messed up. 
But you can already predict that whatever I finish by the end of the stream might need several more fixes before it looks decent. I always admire other artist streamers who can draw at like their top, their peak performance <laughs> while talking at the same time and looking at chat. That is difficult. I kind of put too much um, detail on the face than I would have liked. So let me try to use some thicker lines. I might keep the face. But let me use some thicker lines and do a second base sketch on top of my first sketch. Zuzu asks, how did the cats do on the road trip? They were fine. Uh, my older cat has made several road trips with me already. Every time I go between home and school. And I guess she's kind of getting used to it. She still complains. I don't even know why I'm doing it right here. <laughs> okay, I got it. So I wanted the arm to end up here. And whatever line this is, is a wire coming out. Yeah, so she still complains, but she's sitting there calmly for most of the ride. And uh, my younger cat is not a scaredy cat, he's very social. He's a Siamese and apparently Siamese cats are known to be kind of like an act like a mix between having a cat and a dog. And I didn't know this until after I adopted him because I got him from a shelter. Um, so I wasn't trying to like go out of my way to get a Siamese cat. <laughs> but yeah, they're very social. They're very affectionate and they could be very loud. <laughs> I think it's adorable though. Like if all Siamese act like this, they might become my favorite cat breed. I know that the majority of cats, in America at least, are domestic, short hair. And I guess sometimes they're called the American short hair, but I also know that the British short hair exists, right? I don't know if they're the same. Opinions on tortoises as pets. I don't think I've ever had a tortoise, but I've had a turtle before, like the really small ones. Um. It was when I was a kid though, so I don't really remember much. <laughs> I think they're like... They shouldn't be more work than having some fish, right? They're technically the same thing, except on land half the time. I do like aquatic pets though. I think I, at one point, I was binging YouTube videos where people were, I think they were kind of doing <laughs> landscaping. I think it's called aquariumscaping, <laughs> but basically making an aquarium like super beautiful and um, sen sen scenic. <laughs> Like having a theme and um, I think a lot of times something that's difficult about it is actually using live plants but yeah it's really beautiful and I wish I could have an aquarium like that but the plants are like half the work and I don't think I can handle it any phobias 
I don't think so. If I have any, I don't know of them. <laughs> like, I guess the typical phobias, such as being scared of heights or being scared of small spaces, kind of applies to everyone to an extent, but not to the point where it's debilitating that you would call it a phobia. Kind of like how we're all depressed, <laughs> but not enough to be considered clini cl clinically depressed. Hi, Kingu. Thank you for coming to my stream. I like seeing you here. What, is, uh, what do I say about my likes in sweets? I very, I really like sour candy. And that's pretty much it. I like both chewy and hard candies. As long as it's sour, I enjoy it. It's like the same thing with me and uh, spicy food. There was one point in my life where every time I went to the... Um, convenience store, I would buy lemon heads. <laughs> but at this point, I'm kind of sick of lemon heads. So I don't do that anymore. But some of my favorite sour candy includes Extreme, I think that's what it's called. I don't know if that's the full name, <laughs> but like, it's those strips, those kind of gummy ish strips that are rainbow colored airheads extreme i see yeah i used to really like airheads like when they handed them out to you in elementary school it was like one of my favorite candies but now i just find them really hard to chew Kind of like Laffy Taffy's, but good. Because Laffy Taffy's are just gross. I'm sorry for anyone who likes Laffy Taffy's. These streams are nice, but so late for you. It's like 11 p.m. <laughs> Wait, so it's 11 p.m. for you right now? Sometimes I stream even later. <laughs> Actually, I can't tell um, what is the best time I should stream. If I stream earlier for me, so around 3 p.m., it's probably the earliest I can go. <laughs> I can't guarantee you I'll wake up earlier than that. I mean, earlier to be in time for a stream that is early, earlier than 3 p.m. Because if I wake up at 1, which happens often, that leaves me two hours to actually get out of bed, eat something, and then stream at 3. Yeah, so if I stream at 3 p.m. for me, it's kind of... Like in the middle of the workday, where a lot of people, if you guys are in the US. <laughs> so that doesn't seem like the best time to stream. Um, I did look at my analytics and I think about 20% of my viewers are from the US. And the rest is from other other places all over the globe. But out of the top five, they're all Asian <laughs> places. So it's like um, Indonesia, Thailand, Japan, which is like the opposite, exact opposite time from me because it's on the other side of the world. 
So I guess it would be like 6 a.m. <laughs> for some of you guys from there. Apparently it's 4 a.m. for Chaitanya. Ingu says, I usually sleep at 6 a.m. So I still have 20 minutes to survive <laughs> in Sissy Live. Wow, looks like you sleep at a similar time to me. Canada, Mexico, and France. Wow, you guys are the minority here. <laughs> I think Europe. Europe. People from Europe will definitely struggle to catch my streams. <laughs> it's probably the middle of the night for you guys. Like, dead, dead set at... 4 a.m. or something like that. What am I even doing right now? Every time I draw um, something having to do with my character's design, such as the, th the seams where her body breaks apart, I'm just gonna tell you guys right now, I make up every single time <laughs> it's probably has no consistency so if you're if you're trying to draw a similar piece of my character you can feel free to make it up as well <laughs> you're probably just gonna confuse the hell out of yourself if you try to use my joints as reference Yeah, not too sure where I'm gonna go exactly with this with this piece. I was kind of rushing to do it right when I woke up today, since I woke up two hours or something before my stream. So it was a very quick brainstorming session. Cyber Booba. Indeed. Andre says, I am from Europe, and yes, it is late, but I wouldn't be uh, where, where if I didn't want. What? <laughs> where you don't want to, so you don't really care. That's good. I feel like <laughs> people who have work and stuff in the morning might suffer though. All right. So I said I was gonna go with thinner line. I mean, thicker lines to do another base sketch. But I don't think I'm doing that anymore. <laughs> I'm just cleaning up my thick lines to be thinner at this point. Um, since this piece is gonna be a bit of a dynamic piece, I think it's alright for the lines to be a little bit messy. It kind of fits the mood. I just gotta make sure that there aren't too many mistakes before I get too carried away. <laughs> Thick. So the reason why I was a little bit late <laughs> to today's stream was because I was playing games with my wives <laughs> basically right before the stream when i planned that i wasn't really thinking so when i realized i was so close to my stream i was like shit but we still got some good um some good time in we were playing fall guys i was playing with joe foxy joe and yo clash 
Um, I totally sucked at it though. It reminds me of Mario Party. <laughs> That's like the only other game I played in my life that is solving obstacles or puzzles. And I was like 10 when I played it. <laughs> so I can admit, I am not very good at those types of games. I'm like slowly discovering I'm not good at games, period. <laughs> Which is not something I identified with until I got my ass handed to me in the few games I played on stream. I played one game on on stream publicly, but I played a few with my members. Like, I'm glad I wasn't streaming when... What, what What's it called? Among Us and Fall Guys were like the only thing people played. I would have totally sucked because I suck at both of them. So I have a harem. I think all VTubers have harems. It comes with the gig. You can't become a VTuber without getting a gaggle of wives. Huh. I'm trying to interpret what I was trying to draw here in the sketch. But I'm kind of struggling. Okay, so I'm gonna try to. I'm just gonna go with the flow. <laughs> Make something up entirely. Data wise, <laughs> that's a good one. We are all Cecile's harem. No, you guys are my children. <laughs> Everyone in my Discord server is my children. I've adopted you guys. But fair warning, I might be a bit of a neglective mom. <laughs> So the way I'm going to explain why there is inconsistency <laughs> with um, the seams on my body are is I'm just going to say that most of the seams are usually hidden under like a human skin camouflage so you can't see them. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll actually draw a reference that is just her entire uh, <laughs> naked torso. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't draw that reference. But like, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna say it doesn't count as actually being naked. <laughs> Thank you for donating rides. Dwight says, I saw the tweet notification, face savory in food. <laughs> I was so confused. I didn't know this until 10 minutes after I tweeted it. But I think someone commented, face savory in food. And I read it and I was so confused. <laughs> I was like, does this sketch look like she's eating? Thank you for donating, Deadbeat. Again, Deadbeat says, Thanks for having me, mom. That's okay. We can take care of ourselves. <laughs> You're just straight up accepting that I'm neglected. <laughs> That's awesome. My children are so understanding. Thank you for donating Seraphis again. Seraphis says, there's some money to help pay for child support. Oh, God.
Yeah, I'm gonna be that mom that leaves all the cooking and cleaning to the oldest sibling. While I spend the whole day passed out in my bed. <laughs> Thank you for donating Dwight. Dwight says, child support plus one. Alright, so I should try to figure out what's going on in my sketch here. I'm gonna try my best to get as far as I can with this drawing in the stream, which is gonna be probably around two to three hours. I've been trying to keep my drawing streams a little bit on the shorter side, uh, just so that it won't be too hard for one person to watch it from start to finish. Kingu says, I have given up a line art and pursuing the paint over everything way. <laughs> My style kind of flip-flops between the two. I either do line art so I can get away without shading <laughs> and I can just do base colors and let the line art speak. Or I do painting and I skip the line art step. It's one or the other, no in-between. Thank you for donating, Bane Fairy again. Bane Fairy says, Mom, I took this from your bag and now I'm returning it. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but it's my mom who's always borrowing my money and doesn't return it. I think she has borrowed several thousand from me. Thousand, wow. Announced that run. Um, <laughs> and I'm just like, whatever, because I don't need the money right now. But she's always like, I'm gonna return it in May, and then she doesn't, and then half a year passes, and she's like, I'm gonna return it next week, and then she doesn't. <laughs> Noob says the same. I mean, she still spends money buying stuff for me, so technically, it's um, it's not like I lost money to her since so she spends money on me. But yeah, it does get a little bit annoying because it's not like I willingly gave it to her. <laughs> she just took it and won't return it. Thank you for donating Rhino! Rhino says, Cecile, how many children do you have as a father? I know the answer you want to hear. <laughs> Which is one. I'm only the father to you, Rhino. I think um, a couple of streams ago, when I was drawing Callie, people were bringing up that Callie is dad. To them instead of mom or queen <laughs> they call her dad and then i don't know who brought it up but suddenly everybody started calling me dad too <laughs> but rhino i will say that you are the only son i acknowledge as a father i don't know i don't know who are those people calling me dad i, I don't know who they are <laughs> Rhino says, hell yeah. All right. I can already see a lot of fixing in my future. But I'm all right with that. <laughs> I don't want to think right now. It always takes me 24 hours before I start seeing all the obvious mistakes such as oh that arm is too long the head is slightly lopsided your eyes just kind of get used to it which is why flipping the drawing 
once in a while is a good idea. So I'm like avoiding working on her face. I kind of don't want to put too much detail in the part that is floating off. Because it's gonna look really weird. Um, if you don't know this, that it's because her face is breaking off. Like when it comes to faces, it's a little bit hard to do crazy stuff with it. Since faces are so particular. We still want it to be recognized as a human. Well, I guess I'm not human. <laughs> But yeah, it might look really silly if I try um, to put too much detail in the area of her face that isn't connected. So I'm gonna try to kind of focus on the other areas. I do plan to make this behind area really dark, just to emphasize it more. Hugo, stop mining your data. I think if you live in today's society, you just kind of have to accept that <laughs> the internet is collecting data from you unwillingly. Hello, Alteru. Thank you for joining my stream. I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name. Is she wearing a ceramic mask? <laughs> okay, so this is the part of the face that is coming off. Um, the cracks are just for dramatic effects. I guess it doesn't really make sense if she's not made of something that easily cracks. <laughs> but I'll deal, deal with that later. I might change it later, I might not. I don't even know whatever of what material my body's made of. <laughs> Thank you for donating Biscuit. Biscuit says my FBI agent is a bro of mine. <laughs> yeah, don't you guys regularly text text your FBI agent? <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do with the bangs here. It's good that I can just look at my stream preview and see a reference of my character that way. <laughs> Sometimes I struggle remembering which side my hair is parted. Thank you for donating small. Small says, can you be friend of small? Of course. I'm everyone's friend. <laughs> Before I started streaming, I was thinking um, that I needed a band name, but I couldn't come up with one myself. Uh, if you guys don't know, Databytes was invented by you guys. And I was thinking, okay, if I can't think of a fan name, I guess I'm just gonna call them my friends. <laughs> and somebody was like, that's a bad idea. <laughs> Thanks, I know. Would you ever try the carbon fiber texture for your avatar? What do you mean by that? Is that like a gaming reference? There was a word for the name. Yes, there was. 
It was between databytes and Sicilians. I know Sicilians is supposed to be a pun on civilians, but it just reminds me of aliens. <laughs> Woohoo, finding Dawn with your Romeo and Juliet assignment. Congratulations. Good job on finishing. Why not sell? <laughs> oh my god, that is that is genius. I should just call you guys myself. I like that. <laughs> you should have been here during the war. Romeo and Juliet, though. I never actually read the real play. We didn't have that as a requirement in our school. I wonder why. It seems like... Um, one of the classics that is in the curriculum. We just did Macbeth. And I believe uh, Julius Caesar. And some other ones I don't remember. <laughs> Thank you for donating Biscuit. Biscuit says, Mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cell. If you believe it or not, at this point in my education, despite taking so many science classes, we still have to learn about the mitochondria. It's actually kind of nice uh, when I take a class and they start repeating information. <laughs> that is when I decide it's time to tune out. I majored in bio in undergrad. And I guess I kind of got lucky because my friend who majored in bio, she went to a different school from me. It, she said it was so hard for her, so she changed. I don't think the bio major at my school was that bad. Rhino says, can you say Russian? <laughs> Russian. That's how I pronounce it. I'm still working on it. I know it's supposed to be Russian. <laughs> I've been pronouncing it like Russian for my whole life and nobody said a single thing to me. Did you ever have to read slash watch The Outsiders? Uh, your town was blurred by that being in your literature course. Small periods where the girls were obsessed with 80s greasers. So you're happy that you read it? Yes, I believe I did read it. It sounded kind of familiar. I didn't really recall immediately off the bat. But yes, when you said greasers... <laughs> I think I recognize that. I don't remember what happened in that book, though. If you care to remind me. I know it had something to do with, um... Some delinquents. <laughs> I remember there was, like, fight scenes where they were smacking bear bottles over each other's head. Or something like that. That's all I remember. Daniel is getting drunk. What are you drinking, vodka? Okay, I'm gonna try not to put... Nah, I don't think... I think it's too late for that at this point. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say, I was gonna try not to put too much detail in the hair. But looking at it... <laughs> kind of went past that stuff. So I kind of want the hair to look more um, like it's floating up. The composition probably needs to move down. Just gonna casually slide it down a little bit. Hmm. I'm only gonna put it down a little bit. It's a little bit too much. Her face was too close to the edge. But I also wanted to fill the whole screen to an extent. 
so I can get away without doing too much of a background. I might just do some smoke and ashes in the background. Man, it's getting dark. Several times I was streaming until it got dark and I didn't turn on the light. <laughs> so by the end of my stream, <laughs> I was streaming in pitch black, which kind of messes with the uh, um, face recognition a little bit. <laughs> I don't know if you guys noticed. But luckily, the bright white light from my computer screen was enough to um, illuminate my face. I think that what happens is it gets a little bit harder to recognize my mouth movements. <laughs> so that kind of gets a little bit choppy. Thank you for donating, Rhino. Rhino says, if you must cross a course, Cross cow across a crowded cow crossing. Cross the cross course cow across the crowded cow crossing carefully. <sighs> I didn't do that bad, did I? <laughs> I started reading that and then I realized it was a tongue twister. I probably couldn't do it any faster though. Daniel says, Vodka is cringe, bro. I'm having cognac. Thank you for donating, Daniel. I don't know anything about alcohol, so... I don't know what cognac is. <laughs> I mean, I've probably heard it before somewhere. What time is it at my place? It is 7 p.m. right now. Okay. <laughs> Actually, one of the things that I did to try to practice my speech was um, practice tongue twisters. I don't know if I actually improved or not. <laughs> I'm pretty bad at speaking quickly. So... I can do them at a decent pace. I think one of the hardest ones for me is uh, this really short one. It's red leather, yellow leather, <laughs> yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, and you just keep saying those two repeatedly. I can't. I can barely do it. Right now, thank you for donating. Right now, says. <laughs> How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? He would chuck, he would as much as he could and chuck as much wood as a woodchuck would if a woodchuck could chuck wood. <laughs> Are you gonna keep doing this to me? <laughs> this is remind me of like middle school. They made us read um, ton twisters as an exercise in drama class, I think. I have no idea why I was ever in drama class. Drama acting is totally not my thing. Thank you for donating Nikto. Nikto says, what were some of the inspirations behind the design for your OC? My biggest inspiration um, for my VTuber OC in particular would just be the fact that sci-fi is my favorite genre. So what- oh, and also, not only is sci-fi my favorite genre, but being a virtual streamer <laughs> kind of just goes hand in hand with being an android. I know that is a super common theme though, there's definitely a lot of Android or AI VTubers out there, but I was like, uh -huh, doesn't matter, it's still my favorite theme. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with it. As for my OC in general, she wasn't always an Android. Um, I created my OC 
quite a few years ago because my artist mutuals at the time they were all creating like a draw draw the artist meme which is you draw yourself and um if you don't want to draw like a boring brown haired girl <laughs> you just you go with an oc that represents you so that's when i created my oc she basically looked the same as she does now she was a little bit different but i kept most of it the same over the years because my tastes stay the same Basically, what I was doing was just trying to create an anime character that had all the features that I liked. Um, as well as represent my personality a little bit. And I'm typically pretty shy and soft-spoken. So, that is how my OC is. And that is why... I don't smile. <laughs> I think back when Divian art was really big, there was a lot of artist communities that loved creating OCs and role playing with e with each other. Is that still a thing? Like I haven't really seen another space where it encourages artists to do that outside of the A. <laughs> Mylin takes too many calories. Yeah, I need to save all my calories for drawing. I don't have any calories to spare. Okay, so this part of the hair that I was just working on needs some work. Needs some more work, would you say? But overall, the whole drawing needs some more work. Something I like about keeping my lines bit on the messy side is it gives it a fluid feel um, kind of naturally add some dynamics to the drawing <laughs> you lagged is anyone else lagging Sometimes you experience cheek cramps from smiling too much? Yeah, same. I think very often. <laughs> if I'm in a social setting, I'm probably gonna get cheek cramps. Is this drawing part of the lore? <laughs> Come on guys, you should know, I barely have lore. I'm probably gonna have to think really hard to put it in the lore though. But initially, I didn't really think of anything yet. <laughs> it's gonna be one of the, those things where the explanation comes after it is made. I was kind of talking about that with Little Nightmares, the game I played. So the second game is apparently a prequel to the first game. And I was wondering if they planned it all alone or they just kind of yesed it. <laughs> Took whatever they could from the first game and made it... Um, believable to be a pre prequel. Thank you for donating again, Tuna. Tuna says, make me an offer and I'll write lore for you. But Tuna, the reason why I don't have lore is not because I don't 
want to write lore. It's not because I can't write lore, it's because I don't want lore. <laughs> if I have lore, it's gonna the role playing as my character is gonna get too convoluted. And I'm gonna get all my facts confused and I'm gonna be like the worst role-playing VTuber ever. Thank you for donating Rhino. Rhino says Pad Kid poured curd pod cod times three. So oh I have to say this three times. Come on Rhino. <laughs> but this doesn't even make any sense. The best tongue twisters make sense. Pad kid, port curd, oh my god. Pad kid, port curd, pot cod, pad kid, port. <laughs> pad kid, port curd, pot cod, pad kid, port curd, pot cod, pad kid, port curd, pot cod. <laughs> I almost did it. Tina says, good, lore is cringe. I'm getting mixed signals here. Usually cringe means a good thing for you, Tuna. Alright, I want some of the hair to be floating into her face. Not... Not be too confusing if there's too many lines. <laughs> Distancia says, I'm loving these tongue twisters. Alright. Goodbye, Maxim. Thanks for coming. Wow, it's been an hour already. I can probably get done with the line art for this. Um, close to... Close to within the next hour? Wait, what is this? I wanted to, the flowers on her head to be floating off and not actually attached to her head. So I guess I'll go ahead and draw her head without the flowers. One hour isn't too bad though, I think I made good progress, despite only half paying attention. Thank you for the Lady Biscuit, again. Between you, Thorjo, and Tuna, I have an awesome new community to write for, since I have access to constructive criticism. I would recommend it to other artists, not already part of the membership. Oh, that's great to hear, Biscuits. I didn't know- wait. I didn't know you did writing. I never saw you talk about it in the Discord. Thank you for donating your game, I know. <laughs> it's another ton twister, and I see um <laughs> you replaced Sally with Cecile, which probably works equally as well. Because it's the S sound. Alright, let's try this. Cecile sells seashells by the seashore. I guess she's... <laughs> what? I, I guess she sells seashells by the seashore. How many seashells the Cecile sells with the seashore? This one is always a hard one. We should really get some world building going on here. Oh, Biscuit said that he's writing... Um... I'm scrolling up the chat. Kind of missed it. But apparently he has one to three chapters of something. I see, what is it about? Oh, it's a sci-fi called the, the Sovereign Sun. And it's going pretty slow. I'm glad to hear that um, being a part of the server was helpful for you though while writing that. I admire writers, it's one of the creative things that I don't think I have a good grasp on. I think whenever I'm coming up with a story, I'm too concerned about being <laughs> cliche and unoriginal. And I guess I shouldn't worry that much about it. And I should just worry about... You know that saying that is... Um, 
I think I'm remembering it wrong, but something like... If, if you're trying to be original, that means you're not original. <laughs> that barely makes sense. But what was the saying? of something like that. Thank you for the lane, Tuna again. Tuna says, Writers are cringe, bro. Sorry, Biscuit. It's alright, Biscuit. That's a compliment. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing with this piece of hair. So I'm just gonna get rid of it. <laughs> Thank you for donating, Rhino. Rhino put what I said into quotes, even though I don't think I'm the first one to say that. I mean, I probably misquoted whoever I, I was trying to quote though. <laughs> if you're trying to be original, then that means you're not original. Kind of makes sense, if you think about it. <laughs> In a weird way. You're excited to see this piece another fan art to make you mean you mean you're making another fan art thank you for joining the membership ah oh, galo william for uh, the new people who joined my membership if you want to be a part of my Discord server, you can connect your Discord to YouTube. It's a private server for patrons and members only. Thank you for donating, Lancelot. Lancelot says, Haven't been very active lately in the community, but here's some funding for the cult. Also, writers are cringe, know you. That's the only response that is appropriate to anything Tuna says. No, you. Thank you for the funding. I'm probably... I, I, I still have some things I should buy for my streaming gear. And I'm just um, too lazy to order it at the moment. Because I'm making do with my current setup. <laughs> like, it's alright. Not having that much issues with my current setup. I did fix one of my problems that I had with my stream, which was the really heavy delay. Um, you guys noticed the delay is a lot less. How bad is the delay actually? Order it now. <laughs> Are you gonna make me impulse buy? Thank you for donating two dollars right now. I think I need to have a good sit down and do some intensive research before I order the stuff. But for example, I think I need to buy a pop filter. I made a makeshift pop filter. I think it kind of works. <laughs> In my earlier streams, there was a lot of popping, but now it's not that bad, right? So I made a makeshift one from a piece of silk that I had hanging around, and I just taped it to like a paper frame. Like It's kind of like a random um, thick piece of paper I got from <laughs> tra <laughs> my trash. <laughs> and. It works well enough that <laughs> I'm not in a rush to buy an actual pulp pop filter. Thank you for donating Deadbeat. Deadbeat says, find the for new equipment when you get around to it. And thank you for donating Steve Cates. Steve says, yes, impulse buying is fun. <laughs> no, uh, you shouldn't be encouraging impulse buying. I was talking to a friend 
um, a few days ago about stress shopping. Because I said that I was surprised it's a thing. Since going shopping makes me more stressed. <laughs> it's like, it's satisfying to look at things and imagine that you have it. But by the time I, I look at the price tag, like I don't even have to get as far as adding it into my cart. By the time I look at the price tag, I'm already stressed out. Thank you, Rhino, for donating. Rhino says, here's two more dollars upon the money I donated before. Yes, in my earlier streams, Rhino was my biggest donator. He donated quite a lot of money. So I really appreciate that, Rhino. I'm gonna add the two dollars to my future, uh, to my Rhino fund collection. <laughs> Thank you for donating noodles. Nudo says, funding your addiction. You're welcome. What addiction? I'm not the one with the shopping addiction. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm one of those people who doesn't really enjoy shopping. And it's not because I don't have money. <laughs> I'm just super stingy with my money. One thing that makes me feel better is when I think to myself, uh, like if I if I get stressed about a game being twenty dollars, I just think to myself, that's all right. It's just two meals, <laughs> and meals are consumable. While this game is forever. Thank you for donating, Tuna. Tuna says, "I know. I call. What does that mean? What do you mean?" You gonna call Rhino? <laughs> I'm gonna try to see if I can make... If I can do this hair a little faster. Thank you for donating Dright. Dright says, That Rhino I summon. And thank you for donating Rhino. Rhino says, meals are cringe, bro. Oh no, are you learning from Tuna? Please say no. <laughs> I only need one Tuna in my life. I can only handle one Tuna in my life. Look at some. For a second, I thought you were the real Google. And I was like, what is a cooperate doing advertising in my comments? <laughs> Thank you for donating again, Tuna. Tuna says, Detroit become Tuna. This whole stream is just now me reading the conversation between <laughs> my super chatters. Detroit become human though. I loved that game. I only watched the playthrough as, um, is it on the PC? It wasn't on, I don't think it was on the PC when it came out, right? Yeah, just like near, I only was able to watch a playthrough of it. It is on the PC now, I see. Yeah, and I love the theme. I'll never get tired of the oh, Android become sentient theme. Thank you for donating biscuits. Biscuit says, all right, here's my bid. Wait, what are you bidding on? <laughs> I don't even understand my super chatters anymore. What do you do to take care of your eyes? Nothing. 
Do you mean because I stare at the screen too long? I definitely got like two times worse ever since um, everything happens on Zoom. Like they really expect us to wake up and stare at the screen for eight hours a day. <laughs> Every day. I don't think I've ever stared at the screen so much in my life. I bet the glasses sales are going to go through the roof after things go back to normal. <laughs> Thank you for donating Dwight. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dwight says vote, and I don't know why Dwight says vote. Thank you for donating Deadbeat. Deadbeat says... I don't know what we're betting on, but I'm in. <laughs> Mood. Yeah, I don't know either, the beats. I must be missing a lot in the chat. I'm just trying my best to... Uh... <laughs> Draw and look at chat and speak at the same time. It's definitely something to get used to. Thank you for donating Xenon. I went between uh, I went from pronouncing your name as Xenon to Xenon. I assume Xenon is more accurate. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Xenon says, "Imagine not understanding your super shadows." Imagine. I don't even have to imagine. <laughs> This is my reality. <laughs> what? Nekto says, Cecile, how much to donate for your phone number? I don't think that's a good idea, buddy. <laughs> I already dealt with enough uh, uh, scam callers as it is. And either way, I don't pick up my phone calls <laughs> unless I know who it is. Do you guys remember the days when you could just pick up your phone and it's usually not a, a scam caller? <laughs> Wait, okay, I, should, I guess they're not all scams. I guess they're uh, half of them are advertisers. <laughs> Nikto says, bruh, I'm not a scammer. How would I know, hmm? <laughs> oh god, I wonder if anyone does that. <laughs> Donate a certain amount of money. Or to get the phone number. That's a little bit sad. That beat says that sounds like something something a scammer would say. Classic response. Why do you need my phone number though when you have my Discord? Wink wink. Velvet. Hi, well, Velvet. Thanks for joining the stream. Thanks for donating, Alsar. Hey, dude. Hey, dude to you, too. I've been on that layer of hair for quite some time. I don't like the shape of her eyes. And, of course... I can't go a drawing without doing bottom lashes. Thank you for donating an Ancelot again. Ancelot says, I've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. Pick up the phone. Holy crap. <laughs> Have you guys also been like totally spammed by car warranty calls? 
like I don't know anything about car warranties so for a second I was wondering if I was actually ignoring something important <laughs> you guys are saying yes so I'm glad I'm glad I'm not the only one my dad is um he, he, he gives the tip to block them, but it doesn't even work. <laughs> like, they call, like, they call from a new number. Or a new one calls... with a different number. <laughs> like, I don't even think I get the same number twice. Have any of you guys actually tried any of those, um apps or i guess ai's that supposedly takes your scam calls for you and distracts them <laughs> basically waste their time i wonder if it actually works you prank call domino's why would you do that domino's is like my favorite pizza place <laughs> Actually, what did you do? I want to hear about it. No worries. It's okay to be late. I don't think it's a big deal to be late to my drawing streams. Since um, it's not like a game where you're not going to even understand. You're not going to understand what's going on if you miss the intro or something. I always go into someone's stream and I never know what is happening <laughs> because they're playing a game that I don't understand. If you haven't watched Scam Call Center DDoS videos, I highly recommend. It's very funny. I don't know if I watched that person in particular, but I did binge watch a bunch of um scam call videos where someone was messing with the scammer or the person who was mm, picking up or the person who was making the calls no 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 the person who was making the youtube videos are like a super good actual um technician so they outsmart the scammer those are really entertaining. I love it. What's my favorite kind of pizza? Veggie pizza with chicken. One of my favorite orders is the Domino's veggie pizza. And then I um, add, edit the toppings to add chicken. And that's delicious. I don't know if you guys ever order Domino's. But they're one of my favorite pizza players, places. Binge watching Gordon Ramsay makes you hungry. One of the Gordon Ramsay shows I binge watched was the one. What is it? Um. I don't remember what's called. I'm, I kind of have a name in my head, but I think it might not be the one I'm referring to. But it's the one where he goes to a restaurant and he completely renovates the entire restaurant by the end of the episode. So he goes there and he makes fun of their food <laughs> and their decor <laughs> and then he pays them to clean it all up. Uh, he, play he pays some companies to give them more equipment and it's really satisfying. But I oh, it's called Kitchen Nightmares, I see. <laughs> then the shop owner hates the new look. I did hear a sad thing about it, which was, um, despite all that, uh, usually the shops go back to their old ways, or they can't like keep up the business, so they have to close. So and that's why he's not doing the show anymore or something. But yeah, that's really depressing. Kind of ruins the whole wholesome vibe. What am I drawing? 
I'm drawing my character and I'm doing this theme where、um, I want her to look like she's kind of falling apart. Wow, she's falling. She's falling while falling apart. I kind of got inspired by the music that is playing right now, which was one of my tracks that is made by Nick Doe. And the music's name is Fatal Anomaly. So I'm kind of going for a theme like that. I, by the way, every time I draw the gears or whatever on the inside, I make it up. <laughs> There's no rhyme or reason. I just draw whatever is passable. If it looks fine, it doesn't matter if it doesn't make sense. <laughs> What tablet do I use? I use the Wacom Indros Pro Medium. I think someone suggested me to try this.、Um, I don't exactly know what it is, but it's like a, a service. <laughs> That's probably not the correct word to use. But it's、uh, something that helps answer questions for me on my stream. For example, I get asked a lot of the same art questions, and this thing is basically a bot that answers them for me. I haven't looked into it though. Also, the sun is setting, so I'm gonna quickly be right back to turn on my lights. <laughs> It's gonna take me one second. Oh, before I leave, thank you for donating.、Uh, right now, Rhino says, "Can we get a rip for the kek kek? I don't even know how to pronounce that out loud, <laughs> guy. Uh, rest in peace." <laughs> Wasn't that great? Now you guys know what it looks like when I go out of frame. <laughs> The very first Cecil AFK face. I think it might be my second. I think once before I went AFK without switching my screen because it only took a second. Can I do it again? I would like to sit down and work right now. <laughs> so what I'm doing now is just drawing random ass lines and shapes to make this look like a convincing、um, inside of an android face. Maybe I should draw something like teeth, but that might look too gruesome. Also, I should—I want to listen. <laughs> I want to listen to the music in the background, which I haven't. How can I be inspired if I'm not listening to the music that's supposedly inspiring this piece? So let me take a second so I can turn that on. I hope it doesn't、um, double for this for the stream, but it shouldn't. You can let me know if it does, though.
There it is. All right, found it. <laughs> Five nights at Freddy Teeth. Yeah, exactly. It's gonna look like th it's gonna look like this if I draw the teeth. You know what? It doesn't look that bad. I think I'll keep it. <laughs> you wish you could have money. Why are you poor? <laughs> Don't be poor. Just make money. <laughs> that meme is hilarious. I love it. Kind of looks like a titan. Oh yeah, too. Attack on titans. Isn't that and recently? I think I saw something about it ending recently. Wow, how many years has it been? <laughs> Why are you homeless? Just buy a home. Your art is a blast to look at. Crazy talented. How long have, I been, have you been drawing for? Um, or, okay, I think I should try to read your messages in the uh, second person instead of first person to make it less confusing. <laughs> so, how long have you been drawing for? I was drawing... Wait, how long have I been drawing for? You were drawing as a kid for a bit, but you unfortunately stopped due to life commitments. I've been drawing all my life. Um, yeah, I don't blame you for stopping. It's kind of like, it's one of those hobbies that takes a lot of patience, for sure. You can't really sit down for one hour and be satisfied with your drawing if you're being um, serious about it. So you have to draw for like, at least three hours or more. I know that a lot of people take longer than I do on their drawings. I also get asked this question a lot, which is, how long do I take on my drawings? And typically it's up to five hours. I think this stream is like, so far I've been drawing for an hour and a half. Um, I got a good part of it down. I am going a little bit slower than usual due to streaming. I think I should be able to complete this piece entirely in less than five hours, if even five hours. Once I get the line art done, the coloring should be very simple. <laughs> I say that even though, um, you know, my intro piece? There's literally one color in it, which is the the flowers on the head. Everything else is a shade of gray. <laughs> I struggled so much coloring it though, because it looked so boring. And I was trying my hardest to make it somewhat interesting. So even though there's only going to be simple colors, it might still take me forever. <laughs> Am I gonna finish it on Discord? I might. Um, if I really wanted to concentrate, I might just do it by myself because that is when I'm most relaxed. Which allows me to uh, put like my entire head into drawing. But this piece shouldn't be too hard for me, since my sketching is a lot easier than my painting. I'm probably, for example, I'm gonna finish my Mori Clarpy piece by myself. Most likely. I don't think I'm gonna work on this piece today after I finish the stream though. I'm gonna go back to working on Mori Clarpy 
Just because I really, really need to finish that. <laughs> it's been hanging around for way too long. Watching me draw is lighting a fire under your earth. Is that a good thing? <laughs> That's a very questionable statement. Thank you for joining the membership, Diana. And someone said, I just realized your mouth tracking is so good and smooth. I think um, what helps. <laughs> yeah, I think my rigger did a really good job with that. As well as with the hair movement. If you guys can see. But I think what helps is a lot of other VTubers. Their mouth is kind of in a permanent smile. <laughs> so really, there's only one shape. Well, um, my character is usually not smiling. So that means it tracks both when I smile and when I open my mouth. It adds another dimension to it. All right. This line over here is kind of dark. So I'm gonna thin it out. But it's also... I might want to keep it thicker than the rest of the lines. This is a good thing to have uh, thicker lines around the edge of your drawing. To emphasize where the object ends, or in this case, person. You were imagining me to have a depressed voice. What would that sound like? Just entirely monotone like this. Hey guys, what's up? Yeah, so I'm doing this drawing and I don't believe it looks like shit. <laughs> Thank you for donating Seraphis. Seraphis says, wait, I just realized this art reminds you of that one meme you made of me a while back that you, po that you posted in the Discord? I don't think I know exactly which meme you're referring to, but I did mention at one point in another stream that the scar on my nose was actually uh, um, the seam in my face, <laughs> which, as you can see here, my face is cracked open. So it's this seam that you can crack open. And I think some people drew fan art with that, with that um, in mind. Thank you for donating. Uzumaki. Uzumaki says, first time donating, you might be my favorite artist. Good luck with your future artwork. I have medical exams to study for, so I've got to go. Bye bye. Good luck on those exams. Medical school, huh? That would be very tough. I'm doing something similar, but I think it's easier than medical school. <laughs> or at least that's the, that's the consensus. Obviously, I wouldn't know myself since I didn't go to medical school. But yes, yeah, nice. Future healthcare professionals. Let's go. I'm glad that I am. I might be your favorite artist. I'll try to draw more for you guys.
My head tilt was cute. Like that. <laughs> Welcome, Quantum, to the stream. Damn, it is kind of getting late. It's almost 8 p.m. Right now, it looks like my character has a bob. But it's just because I haven't drawn the second layer yet. Which I'm probably gonna struggle with, since it is hair blowing in the wind. And I still struggle with hair blowing in the wind. This piece is looking alright, I think. <laughs> I drew like one line with a longer layer of hair. I'm going, going to draw something else now because I don't want to deal with that right now. Hands are easier, in my opinion. How do I do the line art effects uh, that I do in all my illustrations? I don't exactly know which effect you're referring to. If you're talking about... Let me pull up something. I have been streaming for two hours. Yes, I have. I might end the stream as soon as I finish doing the line art. I'm gonna pull up... Hold on one second, this piece. I drew this... Hold on, <laughs> it's still loading. Oh no, okay, I thought my side was gonna crash. I drew this as... A thumbnail arts for my last little nightmare stream and if you're talking about this effect like the lighter layer of lines is that the effect you're talking about sometimes i do this just because it makes the lines look sharper and it adds some texture it doesn't always look good <laughs> if your line art is already thin and um good looking by itself this probably will actually make it look worse. But yeah, it's simple. You just copy and paste the line art layer, change the color, and then shift it a little bit off to the side. Yeah, it's just a little trick to uh, make your drawing look a little bit more complex than it is. Thank you for donating again, Tuna, by the way. Tuna says, that's not, that's not how molars look like. <laughs> you actually want me to put effort in the teeth. <laughs> I don't want to. I want my life to be easy. If I actually put effort, then I'd have to draw and then these would be canines. And then you would have your premolars that are a little bit um, wider. And then uh, I don't think the molars show up. So I'm going to leave it at this. <laughs> Teeth has a little bit more shape to it. I don't think you can even tell from a distance. The incisors are a little bit wide, but that's all right. Hello, Loner Gamer Girl. Thanks for popping by. Thanks for donating again, Biscuit. Biscuit says, Watching you work actually helps me get out of writer's block, by the way. Also, I just noticed something. Disregard if I'm unhelpful. I understand zero about art. As there going to be a mouth on the face plate. Yes, I am aware there is no mouth. Um... It's a valid question. <laughs> it's not something to be disregarded. But the reason why I didn't add a mouth is because I didn't want the faceplates to look 
too human. <laughs> if it looks too human, um, it might look a little bit silly. So I didn't add a mouth, and I actually added these cracks to conveniently cover up the spot that might be the mouth. <laughs> Okay, I mean, it's not final yet, I might change my mind later, but when I was doing the sketch, every time I tried to add a mouth, <laughs> it just looked stupid. Oh, no need to apologize. <laughs> it's definitely a valid question. Makes sense. No nostrils either. No breathing necessary. Yep. I took away her ability to breathe. <laughs> Good morning, Tanma. I'm working on the hand. I did find that sometimes I have trouble with um, the width of the fingers because in my sketch the line art is really thick which doesn't bode well when you're drawing a small object because then the lines don't really represent where you want the object to be and the fingers are thin enough for that to happen with fingers so Sometimes the um, <laughs> the sketch I did of the hand is not very helpful in placing the placement of the fingers. You just got through drawing Kurapika for your sister. Ooh, Hunter times Hunter. Do you guys say Hunter times Hunter or Hunter Hunter? Or Hunter Squared. I watched maybe 30 episodes out of that. I know it's one of the classics, one of the class classic shonens. Kurayami says <laughs> Hunter X Hunter. Hunter to the power of two. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I should call it that from now on. My favorite. I don't. Mm, I don't really like the main characters. Gone in Kilua. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't. I'm not like that big. On shonens where the main character is a 10 year old um, little boy who wins by the power of friendship and is considered the chosen one or something. I'm not like that into that theme. Thumb is a bit small. Yep, you're right. Actually, I always omit drawing the thumb <laughs> to avoid having to decide where it is. So I'm kind of bad at drawing thumbs. And I think I'm going to omit it here too, which means, by the way, when I omit it, it means the thumb is this way. Like, imagine it is on the other side, being hidden by the hand. <laughs> That is a very questionable shape I just drew. Yes, I guess I'll just draw a little bump here to represent the thumb exists. I 
think her fingers are not slender enough. <laughs> I actually really love it how in cartoon, women have like really thin, delicate hands and men, their hands are like bigger than their heads. It's kind of funny. Only thing worse than hands are feet. I absolutely agree with that. But if you do see a piece of artwork where the feet are exposed, because usually they're not, <laughs> we wear shoes. But when the feet are exposed and it's drawn really well, that's just like nothing short of impressive. Like that, that. The hands too, when the hands are drawn really well, it just looks like the artist is that much more skilled. And by really well, I mean in an anatomical way and not like a fetish way. <laughs> you can always tell when there's some fetish thing going on. trying to make her fingers more slender so she looks more feminine every time i draw a female character i think <laughs> half the people who sees it think that i drew a pretty male character instead so i tend to draw kind of masculine features i guess um I, I do enjoy drawing male characters more than I like drawing female ones. But ever since I had to draw several pieces featuring my own VTuber character, I've been drawing female characters a lot more often. I think that... The tip of this finger is a little bit odd. But I think it should show. Hmm. I was trying to draw the thumb there, but I don't think it should show at that point. You are glad to hear I do enjoy male characters, that's pretty uncommon in fan art. I guess it depends on which artist you're following. I know a lot of um, popular anime artists draw in a very cute and uh, CG-like style. Like something you'll see out of an otome game, I guess. Like the line art soft shade style with really bright colors that's a very common style to draw anime in and they exclusively those some of those artists exclusively draw um big-eyed cute female characters but there's also the other side of the spectrum which is artists who only draw beautiful male characters and i think i follow quite a few of those You enjoy drawing male characters too. Guess that means you should start posting your work online. Yeah, if you would like. Sometimes receiving validation from posting your work online can be very motivating. Just don't get too carried away with um, thinking that whatever like the amount of likes or something is the worth is the value of your art or what your art is worth that's not a good mindset to be in okay 
almost done with this arm. <laughs> the broken booba scared you a bit. Broken booba scary. Clip Studio? I only use Clip Studio to do post editing at this point. Clip Studio has a lot more functions than Sai. But I'm used to drawing on Sai. I do predict in my future, I'll probably eventually switch entirely over to Clip Studio. Hello, Vo. Thank you for joining the stream. I think someone asked, is there any Brazilians <laughs> in the chat? Are there? You're getting Clip Studio Paint for your B-Day, and that is in a few days, and you can't wait to just spend hours learning about it. I love your motivation. Yeah, Clip Studio has so many things, so many abilities and functions that can help you when, with your drawing. And there's a lot of free resources too that other Clip Studio users made. For example, custom brushes. For me, I still suffer with just drawing textures manually <laughs> unless I can copy and paste the texture from online. But yeah, that is the pain of not using a very advanced drawing program. Thank you for donating again, Biscuit. Biscuit says, gotta go. Gotta go buy mayo for dinner. Alright, goodbye Biscuit. Thank you for staying for so long. And I hope you have a good dinner. I'll be eating dinner as soon as the stream ends as well. Now that I'm home, I'm eating a lot better <laughs> thanks to my mom's cooking. However, I did eat ramen for lunch. <laughs> so I can't say that I am entirely back on track <laughs> with my diet. So after I finish this arm, I think, um, let's see what is remaining. All right, so there's the back of the hair. The other hand and some flying pieces as well as all the parts that are exposed of the inside of, of her body. Those might take me a while to do just because it's a bunch of tiny details. Hi River, thank you for or welcome back. Yes, we're still on the line art. I'm actually thinking about ending the stream after I finish the line art. But we did make progress. We have progressed to uh, <laughs> finishing this arm. And I'm just about to finish the other arm. Which is simple because this hand is barely within frame. If you guys could even tell it was a hand. Fix the teeth. Oh, come on. <laughs> what if I don't want to, huh? What would you do then? What size canvas do I use? This canvas in particular is 5,000 times 
Um, let's see, 2,800 pixels? Or somewhere near there. Stack overflow loop caused by paradoxes? Huh. Uh, the DPI, I usually use 300 because that is the typical one that is required for printing. And in fact, on imprints, which is uh, one of the printing websites I use, they don't allow you to have higher than 300 DPI. Which is kind of strange. I think higher means it would be better quality. My voice is really calming, thank you. Can I recommend something to draw because you're trying to learn? I recommend you to start with um, 3D shapes. I, well, if you're not that far yet, you can start with uh, lines and then 2D shapes and then 3D shapes. But I guess this is like a common way to start drawing from a classical point of view. Um, but one of the first things that we do if you go to art class is we draw cubes and spheres and cylinders. But it actually helps you. It's not pointless. It kind of ingrains in you um, proportion as well as you're able to imagine, imagine shapes in three dimension in your head. Because everything is made out of shapes in one way or another. <laughs> Unless it's a totally organic form. But once you get down the shapes and proportions, you should go uh, try, try to do some perspective. Which, by the way, you can do using shapes as well. For example, a stack of boxes that has some perspective. Getting a little bit carried away with the details on the inside of the arm here, but... I'm already here, so I'm just gonna go with it. Just a couple more random lines to fill in the hole. What's my favorite eye color? Do you mean in your real life? Like, when I see someone in real life? Or do you mean with anime characters? If it's in the actual real life, both in real life and in joints, I see. So, if it's in real life, um, there's this eye color. I don't even know how it's possible, but you know, some people have like a really intense blue eye color, like not light blue, not grayish blue, which is like more typical, but like intensely blue. That's a really nice eye color and it's pretty rare for me to see too. Like, those are the eyes that just captivate you when you look at them. And in anime characters, I like gold eyes. I like the combination of white hair and gold eyes. You might be able to tell. Um, I do draw a lot of characters like that. For example, Platinum from Arknights. But my character um, has kind of a darker shade of gold, which I would call bronze or brass for her eye color. It's not entirely gold, and the hair is silver. 
So the hair is also a little bit darker than white. And that is just my attempt at being a little bit more creative. Like if I was entirely uncreative, I would probably be <laughs> a white-haired fox girl and I know many of those already exist. But I really liked some of those like um, fox spirit characters in anime. Hey Jackshot, for example, Kurama, is that his name? Yoko Kurama from Yu Yu Hakusho. They're just too cool. Hi, hi, KFP Ceiling fam. I always read your full name because I never know like which part of it I should take. Cell just popped in for a bit to say hi and thanks. As your tips and tutorials really helped me a lot in improving art, although I'm still in the process of learning. Thanks. You're welcome. I'm glad you find you find them helpful. Do I like to wear hats and caps? I like buying hats and caps, surprisingly. <laughs> but I never find the opportunity to wear them. I'm already a lazy dresser as it is. I can't put together an outfit, a two-piece outfit. How can I put together an outfit that includes a cap? Too much for me. Hi, Distancia. Thanks for joining the stream. Hiei is the original Sasuke. <laughs> oh my god, he is. Hiei was a short king. I think he was my favorite, uh, my, my sister's favorite character. You think the front arm is a little too small. Hmm. I think the shoulder is really strange. Um, I'm gonna try to fix that. Now oh, the arm being too small though. Might be slightly too small. Uh, I don't really see it. <laughs> Dumpling says, Don't slander my boy Hiei like that. He's far better a character than Sasuke ever was. <laughs> you might be getting some Sasuke fans mad there, bro. <laughs> I'm not like the biggest fan of Sasuke either. Actually, I kind of hate him. <laughs> But also, out of Naruto characters, I guess I wouldn't say I have the best taste because I like Sakura and, and I know like half the viewers hate her guts. Thank you for donating, Roarer. Tell us your Arknight's waifu slash husband though. My waifu, my Arknight's waifu is Sage. She was my first six star and I just got attached. <laughs> I really like seeing art of her on my Twitter. I don't play Arcanite so much anymore, but I still like seeing art of it. And I still applaud the game for having like the most amazing team of artists ever. Like I love the style that they went for. And Husbando. I guess it would be Silver Ash. Although I am I'm not like the a huge Silver Ash stan, which I know those exist. I think he looks a little bit basic, but he is OP as hell and I loved using him. Oh, apparently you were talking about this arm. <laughs> the arm in front. I got a little bit confused because I thought you meant the arm in front of her. Yeah, I guess it's a little small.
which is ironic because usually whenever I draw a straight arm, <laughs> which is kind of hard because you can't really, um, you kind of have to like guess how long it's going to be. Every time I draw a straight arm, it usually ends up too long instead of too short. And I guess I kind of overcorrected this time. I kind of want to m move the entire drawing backwards. Every single week, you get a little bit better at using MS Paint. Why are you using MS Paint? <laughs> I used to draw on MS Paint when I first did digital arts. The only program I had was MS Paint, so and a mouse. I didn't have a tablet, so I made all my drawings on MS Paint using my mouse. I'm trying to judge if her arm is fixed or not. Huh. I guess I'll keep it this way for now. Let me fix this arm and let me see if I can find some of my um, endless paint drawings for you guys. It's been like, what? Seven years? But I keep my old drawings up on my Divine Art. You guys probably, some of you guys probably seen it. I did a collab with someone in the past, Domo Ariga Things. <laughs> and we brought up MS Paint, so I showed him some of those drawings. You love my voice? Feels like you're ready for a Dark Souls quest? Do I sound like a Dark Souls character? I don't think I would ever have the balls to try to tackle Dark Souls because um, I tried playing Code Vein, which according to you guys, it is like a uh, simpler and more anime version of Dark Souls and I still struggled the hell, uh, <laughs> like <laughs> a hell of a lot. <laughs> wow, my English. I still struggled a heckin' lot. <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to my dimming art. Dark Souls 1 is very unforgiving for beginners. Dark Souls is the game for pro gamers. Is it kind of like they're going for the flappy bird effect, except more intense? As in, they're trying to make a game that the, the user is going to fail many times, but they're too determined after failing that many times <laughs> um, that they want to succeed at least once. Because it worked. Considering how popular that, like, popular that game is, Dark Souls is not hard, it's just a matter of learning your way around. Really? Okay. <laughs> I'm looking at my old art. It's so cringe. So this was one of them. I drew this on MS Paint. I had a phase where I was really into Vocaloid. And at this point in my life, when I tried to listen to Vocaloid songs, I... <laughs> I don't know how I used to listen to it. 
but Vocaloid producers, they do make good music. I just prefer to listen to a human cover of the song instead of the actual um, <laughs> Vocaloid version. And this, hold on one second. This <laughs> is like the first drawing I uploaded to Divine Art. I have no idea why I decided to include, include this extremely ugly airbrush text. <laughs> All right, let's try to finish the liner on this piece. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish because <laughs> it looks like sand. Yeah, maybe, maybe that's what I was thinking when I do that. Does Gara count as Yandere? <laughs> I guess not, because he's not in love with anyone. But yeah, those psychotic characters are always interesting. Are you late? A little bit late. <laughs> but that's alright. There's gonna still be um a little bit more to the stream before I end it. Who did it? What does that mean? Doesn't that just mean they're like really quiet and badass? <laughs> I do think the Yandere craze goes a little bit out of hand sometimes. By the way, what happened with that game? <laughs> Yandere Simulator? There was like so much drama surrounding that game. Like, did it ever come out? I know it was a meme that it never came out. I thought I saw people playing it, like, on YouTube. We try not to talk about that. Don't ask about it. <laughs> Do not go down that rabbit hole. All right. So, change of topic. <laughs> Where am I from? I'm from America. And I'm... I don't know what I'm doing here with the hair. But I'm trying. Wow, that was a whole slew of warnings. Um, apparently all the information you guys will tell me is it's cursed. What about me? What kind of did it? Am I? What? What kind of, um... No, there's like a whole bunch of them. Let me Google this. Can you guys like, briefly explain to me? Okay, let's see. Yan did it, Sun did it, Who did it, Hime did it. Um, Dan did it, and did it, did it, did it. Okay, so I kind of know what like half of, half of these mean. We glean the meanings as we speak. 
Dan Dele is a character who is normally quiet and silent, possibly to the point of coming across as emotionless, but will suddenly become talkative, sweet, and cute when alone with the right person. If they manage to push the right button. I actually can't think of one anime character that acts like this. Like, usually the quiet and silent um, characters is like a whole trope. And they're just constantly silent, shy, and embarrassing themselves. I never see like I never see a character like that that gets talkative. Who did it? Sometimes written as blah 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 blah. At first, they're a character who is often cold, blunt, and cynical. They may seem very emotionless and stoic, but on the inside, they're very caring and. At least when it comes to the ones they love. I don't think I'm any of the dinners because I don't love anything. <laughs> ASMR dinner. Nice. Let's go with this. Bye, Lonely Gamer Girl. Thanks for stopping by. I've been procrastinating too long on drawing the back of the hair. Oh god. <laughs> and you can tell why. It's already looking lopsided. Probably gonna get a little bit quiet as I focus. Because this needs my entire concentration. <laughs> Mom doesn't love us. What about us in the cast? Alright, fine. I love you guys, and I love my cats, obviously. Your friends love my art, and you found me because of them. It's nice of them, I'm glad that they shared my art with you. Such bold-faced lies. I'm not lying. Who said I'm lying? I only speak the absolute truth. Can I say hi, honey, for you guys? I said, I said it at the end of last stream. But sure. Hi, honey. <laughs> I, I don't... I feel like nothing will beat the original, though. So he says, hi, honey, was too good. <laughs> Clip it again. How many clips do you need of the same thing? Infinity to so infinity and beyond. I was actually wondering a few days ago how come the movies like Toy Story and Ice Age gets like 10 million sequels, <laughs> but then you don't get like a sequel to Rapunzel. Like the uh, Disney princesses. That seems a little bit odd to me. Because I would think that the princess movies are the most popular ones. But 
That's a good question. Toy Story 3 was good. I love Toy Story. <laughs> I love watching animated films. So... <laughs> it's like one of my top choices for a movie. If I'm going to watch something, I would go with the animated one. They're just so wholesome. And actually, I love the humor in Toy Story. It's great. Aristocats. Yeah, I really like the animal Disney films. Like Robin Hood too. If you think about it, that's probably where the furries came from. <laughs> Thank you for donating again, Xenon. Xenon says, who is Honey and why VTubers know him? <laughs> I'm pretty sure the whole chat is Honey. You guess because the princess sequels haven't been done well in the past. Have you guys watched Cinderella 3, I think? <laughs> the one um, where they actually gave the prince a character. Apparently that one was good. I think I watched it, but like it's been a while. Cinderella, Cinderella 3 was great. You like the anime movie A Silent Voice. Yeah, that's one of the really popular movies, isn't it? I haven't watched it. Um, it looks kind of depressing to me. I don't really like depressing anime stuff. I know that um, there's... Uh, what is it called? I get these two movies confused. There's these two really popular anime movies. And I always get them confused. I think the other one's called Your Name. Which one is the depressing one? <laughs> it made you cry very easily. A silent voice is amazing. Too bad it's inferior to Boss Baby. The Oscars told you that. I enjoyed Boss Baby. I wouldn't say it's like one of my favorite animated films. <laughs> Wait, so it won in Oscars? They're both kind of bittersweet. You still need to watch your name. You're lying, April. Okay, I guess there's more than just two anime movies that I get confused between. They're both amazing, but you think your name was the one with a happier ending. Judging by the title, I would assume... A silent voice. Doesn't that just sound depressing? Okay, so Boss Baby was nominated in Coco won. That's good to hear. Coco was amazing. That definitely deserves the victory. I wonder how the nomination works. Can anything get nominated? <laughs> I kind of always wonder why it's a big deal to be nominated because it's not like you won yet. But I guess there's a process for it. So it still means you're kind of up there, up there with the big boys. <laughs> Ghibli movies are the best. Ghibli movies are also 
immersive with their fantasy theme. And I love the style, it's so unique. Alright. I think I can possibly finally move on from the hair. Not yet, just one second. Fixing some strands here. So it looks less like a flat rug or carpet and more like actual hair strands. I also grew up with Ghibli films. Um, not. I wouldn't say I, I watched a huge repertoire of them, but the ones I grew up with was um, Spares Away and The Cat Returns, and I love both of them. I did watch Princess Mononoke sometime recently, probably a year ago, which is kind of recent, <laughs> considering I watched The Cat Returns and Spirited Away when I was like eight or younger. And Princess Mononoke was was good. It just, um, it's not this, it's not. I guess I just, I'm not filled with my childish fascination anymore with these cartoon movies as I was when I was a kid. So it didn't exactly leave that much of an impression on me. Yeah, <laughs> do I speak Spanish? I mean, como estas? <laughs> I don't, I don't really speak Spanish. I can kind of understand what you type though, if it's really basic Spanish. Glad you caught my stream again. You hope I'm doing well? Yes, I am doing well today. I'm I'm happy with the progress I made on this piece. So there's that. I woke up kind of late, <laughs> but I got to play games with some of my friends. And that was really fun. I'll probably finish this piece as soon as I finish my Cali piece. <laughs> My plan was uh, to finish Kali yesterday and to finish this tonight because tomorrow I have another art stream and I am going to draw something else. <laughs> but I guess I'm gonna have like three pieces pending. Huh, maybe I will finish this first and then I'll finish Kali later. Can you say... Te amo cariño? I love you there? Is that what it means? <laughs> Zell just doesn't want to finish Callie. That piece is just... It's hard, okay? This is easy. That is hard. <laughs> I just want to... I want to do the, the easier things first. Callie armpit stream. Callie armpit stream already happened. No more Callie armpit. I finished Callie's armpit already. <laughs> Alright, I think the last thing I'm gonna do in the stream is... Give me a second. I'm like deciding, I'm wondering if I want to um, try to do more of the details in the broken pieces of her body. But I don't think I want to. 
Or at least I don't want to right now. See, conveniently, I put a crack where the nipples would be. <laughs> Not that she would have any to begin with. But just please don't censor me. <laughs> okay, so the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw some of these flyaway pieces. And I'm going to draw the flower on her head. Oh, and I kind of missed the whole other side of her hair. Um, bangs wise, at least. So let's do that. I think I need to increase my stabilizer when I draw the hair. I hate wobbly lines when it comes to hair. <laughs> Say so is dead. What are you talking about? I'm still Say so. Some weathering for the body will work. Yeah, I'm gonna see what kind of details I can add at the end. But so far, it's going well. I draw straight hair, sometimes it just looks too straight. I have to put a conscious effort into making it out of line and more interesting. Alright. That actually, that's, that doesn't look right. It looks like it's attached to her hand. Let me just, let me, let me concentrate for a little bit. You guys can vibe out to the music. Now this is a moment where rotating the canvas can help. For you guys who are artists, do you ever have that thing where you can only draw the face well when facing one direction, for example, to the left? So if you want to draw something facing the right, you have to flip the canvas first to do it. As you all agree. Isn't it nice that we can do that digitally? <laughs> I would probably die a little bit inside if I had to do mostly traditional art again. But this, this angle of the face that I'm drawing here <laughs> Which is, um, almost but not fully turned to the side, and the nose obstructs the view of the eye. That's my favorite angle. <laughs> you might see it a lot in my art. And sometimes I even struggle to draw a different angle, just because I'm so used to drawing this one, and it's like 
the one my brain tells me looks good. <laughs> You're too much of a perfectionist, unfortunately. <laughs> what a sweet drawing, not savory at all, like the treat said. Oh my god. You know, I deleted that tweet once for a typo, and then I retweeted it, and of course, it still had a typo. It's a great way of not having to draw perfectly matching eyes. Yeah, I don't know about you, but I hate drawing the front profile. I know that a lot of people use like the mirror tool or copy and pasting when it comes to the front profiles. So you can copy paste one side of the face and flip it to the other side. <laughs> like that helps, I guess, a little bit, but it doesn't... First of all, it looks a little bit more unnatural. And it doesn't look as good as if you just do the face entirely um, without copy and pasting. <laughs> but even with that trick, I hate drawing front profiles. Because of the... Not only the other eye, but also... I can't get the face to look symmetrical, period. Like the shape of the cheek. <laughs> the position of the mouth, just all of it. I am gonna struggle. Okay. Copy and change it a bit? Yeah. That's what I would do. Sometimes I try to do that though, and after I change it a little bit, it's back to looking messed up and asymmetrical. <laughs> Plan failed. If I drew my own avatar, that means I'm my own mama? I guess so. Which is funny, because some people brought up, how does it work? Um, in my lore, I say that there's a creator that created me, but I'm my own creator. <laughs> so how does that work? And my answer is, you know, you just don't have to think that hard about it. Just, just don't think. Time travel? Lore is convoluted in VTuber history. I bet. I feel like everyone has really similar lores anyway. <laughs> I know there's the really common theme of um, I am a strange being that got put into the human world. And now I am struggling to survive as a streamer or something like that. There's like a million VTubers with that lore. What is the music called? The music is called Fado Anomaly and it is a custom background music made by Nikto. He's in the description. Along with every other other person that made music for me. Reverse isekai? <laughs> Ooh, I never thought of it like that. But I guess you guys aren't tired of it yet. <laughs> You commission the people who make music for you. Yes. I usually commission them. For the music that's playing right now, I did it in art trade, so... 
I drew him art in return for the music. <laughs> it worked out because um, he was a fan and he wanted artwork from me anyway. <laughs> Can I show how I color my drawings? I don't think I'm gonna color, um, get to the coloring step for this drawing. But when it comes to coloring, I usually try to use a lot of muted tones and then I allow one color to stand out so that it kind of pops. That's usually what I go for. I'm gonna add a little bit more detail to her pupil. I don't, I don't know if <laughs> you guys noticed, but uh, the black spot, the black spot inside the pupil was kind of set back a little bit because of depth. So when you're drawing, adding that usually uh, makes it look more, more three-dimensional. Makes the eyeball look a little bit more three-dimensional. Awesome artwork, your voice is really calming to listen to. Thank you. Thank you so much, Arwen. I'm starting to think maybe I should have a mouth on this. I don't want it to be a realistic mouth. I'll probably mess with it later. <laughs> As for now, I kind of got to where I wanted to get to for the stream, so let me just do this little thing and then let's end the stream here. All right. Thanks for coming to my stream, guys. I was able to get done with the line art for this piece. Um, there's some more details in it that I didn't finish, <laughs> but those details might take me a while, so I decided to omit that for the stream. And I noticed that Fiance has donated $5 23 minutes ago. I'm sorry I missed it when you donated, but thank you so much, Fiancé says. You seem like a pretty chill person. I'll stick around. Thank God for recommendations. Your art is amazing. <laughs> thank you for clicking my video if it popped up in your recommendations. Sometimes um, there's a person in my chat who's like, YouTube has to stop recommending these videos to me. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm sorry, but also you clicked the video, so maybe that's why YouTube is recommending it. <laughs> um, yeah, that was my third stream this week. I have another stream tomorrow. That is an art stream. I think I'm gonna try to draw some Nair fan arts. Uh, the main character of the Nair Replicant is named Nair. I remember that his name was Nair, but... For a second, I thought I was getting confused because I always called Link Zelda <laughs> as a kid, but it turns out his name actually is Nair. So I think I might do a fan art of him tomorrow. And it is at 3 p.m. EST. Or 7 p.m. GMT. Yeah, Brother Nair. I've been trying to uh, 
say my times in GMT because I think it's more common for people to know their time zone by GMT plus or minus whatever hour. For example, EST is GMT minus four, I think. Thank you for donating, Rurur. Rurur says, now get some sleep, you beaut. I actually need my food, so I'm gonna get food first and then I'm gonna get my sleep. Maybe. <laughs> Alright, good night everyone. And thanks again for coming.